Hello students, how are you? I hope you all are good. So today we are going to start what chapter? So chapter name is paragraph writing. So let's read introduction to writing paragraphs. So a paragraph is a short piece of writing that consists of a number of sentences written on one topic or one idea. These sentences are arranged in a systematic manner. A paragraph is a short composition complete it in self. A good paragraph should have the following features in itself. So, what should paragraph be in the paragraph? So, is unity. So, second is connectivity. Third is emphasize. And fourth is conclusion. So, read one by one. Unity means a paragraph should deal with only one thought or idea. Readers should get an idea of the theme right at the beginning of the paragraph. Connectivity means the sentences in a paragraph should be well connected to the central idea. Each sentence should follow the previous sentence and should naturally be followed by the next one. Emphasize a paragraph may include a few ideas related to the central theme. However, all ideas cannot be equally important. Thus, the writer should give each idea as much importance as it deserves. Or conclusion ke andar bache, the last sentence should be impressive. It should be written in such a manner that it brings a proper sense of conclusion to your written up. So, our paragraph starts with patriotism and the young. So let's read, patriotism simply means the love for one's country and the readiness to die for in case such a need arises. A patriot loves his her motherland under all conditions. It encourages or inspires human beings to do something for the betterment of their nation. The feeling of patriotism is devoid of any notion of selfishness. The a true patriot works for the glory of his her country without the desire for the kind of benefits, materials and otherwise. Patriots are loved and respected by one and all. These days, the younger generation seems to be detached from this feeling of patriotism. All that they care about is the fulfillment of their own needs. Nonetheless, it is desired that the younger generation understands the true meaning of patriotism. Their chest should swell with pride on listening to or singing the national anthem. They should imbibe the true spirits of patriotism because after all, these youngsters are going to lead the country tomorrow. However, this love for one's country should not breed a feeling of hatred for other countries. Next, work is workship. So let's read, work is workship is a famous proverb which means that work is workship in its truest sense. It is our work which develops our personality and gives meaning to our lives. It makes our life interesting and lively. It is the key to success, progress and happiness. Unfortunately, people do not understand the true meaning and effectiveness of consistent and diligent work ethics. Workers work honestly, but the idle depend on others. They are parasites in society. Work brings money, which in turn brings physical, mental and psychological happiness. Happiness which ultimately balances the body, mind and soul. A happy man satisfies the soul even more than worship does. Next is child labor. So let's read. Child labor refers to the practice of engaging children in economic activities. These children are deprived of primary education and exposed to mental and physical dangers. Any type of job performed in industries can be harmful for children. Industrialists and businessmen choose child labor because of the efficient work in minimum of time and minimum cost. Poverty forces the families in India to make their children work. The government has made child labor illegal. Everyone found guilty of using children as laborers 
are severely punished by law. Child labor is destroying the future of our nation by harming the physical and mental development of the future generation. Next is by road to Utakamand. The driving distance between Chennai and Uti is 547 km and aerial distance is 420 km. There are many buses playing through the day carrying people and tourists to see the pretty hill stations of UT. We prefer to go by car so that we could stop at wayside motels and resorts to make our trip more lively. As soon as we began to rise towards the Nilgiris, the scenic beauty became breathtaking. The lush green countrysides with tall trees and tea gardens stretching miles into the distant horizon. It was like heaven on earth. We stopped a while to film the area and take photographs and were charmed by the bird sounds that surrounded us. We were lucky to hear the Nilgiri laughing thrush, a bird found in the Nilgiris, which brings a smile on the listener's face. It's called a spited peacock, called the usually uttered in concert with the squacks and squirrels in between. The sound took us by surprise. It was most unexpected. We drove to Pikara Lake and saw the waterfalls and were lucky to see the Malabar giant, squirrels and fee falls. We saw the Dodabeta bee peak from a distance which is the highest peak in the Nilgiri Dodabeta means big mountains in Kannad. Finally, we settled down for the nights in a tourist guest house close to the city. So next is my favorite game. I am very fond of games. I know how to play football, volleyball, tennis, cricket and hockey. I also love to play indoor games like cards, carrom boards, table tennis etc. But of them all, I like hockey most. It is my favorite game. I have been playing hockey since my childhood. It is our national game. We have been the world champions in this game for about three decades. It is also very easy to learn. 22 players are required to play this game. On each side, there are five forwards, three half backs, and two full blocks and goalkeeper. A hockey match lasts for an hour and a half. One has to defend the goal post. Imagine how happy and proud a player feels then when he scores a goal. Moreover, hockey teaches us discipline, cooperation, team spirit and sportsmanship. My Motherland India is my motherland. It is a country of lakes, gardens, springs and hills. Its great rivers water are vast and fertile lands. Its civilization is as old as the history of the world. My country has a rich past, good present and bright future. It stands for peace and freedom. It is really a beautiful and rich country. My countrymen are the bravest in the world and the women, they are kind-hearted but strong-willed. I pray that no enemy may attack its border and no citizen of its be a victim of a grief and pain. I shall be fortunate if I sacrifice my life for the safety of my motherland. It is great in peace, humanity and war. I am proud of my motherland. So next topic, Republic Day. So let's read, India became a sovereign republic on 26 January 1950. On this day, our new constitution prepared by Constitution Committee was introduced. On this day, the government was formed by the people of India according to the new constitution. This day reminds us all of the glorious past and the dark period of the Britishers when we were not free. Many freedom fighters sacrificed their lives for the freedom of life. The efforts of the patriots forced the British rulers to quit India forever. We celebrate this festival in a special manner. The President of India takes the salute of the Jawans of Army, Navy and Air Force. The government buildings are illuminated at night. So next here, Rising Prices. So let's read, Bacho. Rising prices have created a grave economic situation in India. It has posed a serious threat to the stability of the country and society as whole. 
the rise in prices of essential commodities has badly affected the people of the fixed income groups and poor wages earners they have to struggle hard to keep their body and soul together when a man is unable to provide himself and his family with the bias necessities of life he tempted to earn money by adopting unfair means this leads to corruption and mal practices so the government should take drastic steps to check the price line otherwise it is bound to create economic explosion leading to social tension and political imbalance so bachche aapne dekha kis tarah se yahan par paragraph humne padhe aur paragraph ko kaise proper tarike se likha jata hai wo bhi humne yahan par sikha तो पढ़ेंगे सीखेंगे और अपने आप भी प्रैक्टिस करेंगे जो नीचे दिए हैं हमारे पास कुछ टॉपिक्स उनसे रिलेट लिखने की खुद प्रैक्टिस करेंगे थैंक यू स्टूडेंट्स थैंक यू फॉर वाचिंग